Hey team, Richard Tubb here. I'm in Berlin, Germany for Pax 8 Beyond EMEA. Wonderful event. So many of the top MSPs, not just from Europe, all over the world. And talking of top MSPs, I'm joined by a man, David Barretton of Mice and Pages, UK MSP, who joined me on Tub Talk episode 164 just a few weeks ago. And we have had so much incredible feedback about the interview that we did. Thank you for being a wonderful guest, but it's wonderful to see you. I'm you, Richard. I'm yeah. looking dressed so smart. Looking dressed so smart. Give a little nod for the audience there. My luggage got lost. So everybody's saying how smartly dressed I am because everything I'm wearing has been begged, borrowed, or stolen from other places. So. Well, I think that's, that's kind of indicative of the, the people we're with here. Everybody's yeah. here sharing. And in your case, this time, it's even clothes. Yeah. Well, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. So what brings you to Pax8 Beyond the EMEA? Are you a Pax8 partner? Uh, we are a Pax8 partner, yeah. We've been a Pax8 partner for probably about three years now. Uh, and we just saw it as a wonderful opportunity. We've got other MSPs we know who've been to Denver last year, yeah. who said it was a must attend event. So as soon as we recognised it was going to be held in Europe, we booked straight on. I think we've been booked on since January last year, at the start of the year. Yeah, so we're half a day into the, well, there was a pre day, lots of stuff going on. This is the first day, full day proper. Yeah. So how would you compare Pax 8 Beyond in Denver, which you've been along to, to Pax 8 Beyond EMEA? Well, I haven't. It was Rob who's been to Denver, but Forgive he, me, yeah. he said it was so great. Yeah. I mean, so far, I'm really impressed with the sessions. We've done lots of other things like some enabled road shows, comp tier, but the size of this yeah. and the breadth of, of the different types of topics, there's something for everybody. Yeah. So I think we've got 504 MSPs, yeah. they said here today. Have you had conversations with many of your peers? Yeah. And we've also obviously set up a WhatsApp group for our SPSC Northwest. Right. So we've kind of got groups within groups. Well, let's give a shout out for SPSC Northwest. Yeah. Pax8 are a sponsor for that group, but tell us about SBSC Northwest. They are indeed, we meet monthly, we meet at Sandbrook Park, Zen Internet, and it's basically the Northwest hub for MSPs to get together and share ideas. Yeah. And it's a real good, great community, so it's great to see quite a lot of them here. In fact, there was almost a roll call on the uh, 7.15 out of Manchester yesterday. <laughs> So what sort of conversations do you have when you come here? So that we've got a lot of vendors in the hall behind us. Obviously, you're a Pax8 partner, a lot of your peers. Tell us a little bit about the conversations you've been having today. What's it all about? Well, selfishly, I've actually brought two members of staff. So okay. Jack and Kev are with me. So Kev, my co-owner and technical director, and Jack, who's our business development manager. And it's great to see those two having some conversations about where Martin's going to go, yeah. the future of our MSP. And then taking those conversations and then bouncing them off other people, like Mark Hope, Rob, uh, Scott Riley, yep. Dave Taylor from Hampshire. And you find out what the common things are and the common challenges. And in discussing it, you kind of get the next bit out of it that you're not actually being taught about how it relates to you. I'm really glad you said that because lots of people are going to be watching this and perhaps experiencing a degree of FOMO. Yes. Fear of missing out because it's a wonderful event, everything that's going on here. But it is a massive investment of time and money, especially for an MSP owner. It is. So tell us about the credible return on investment that you get as a business. Yeah, I think a lot of it is, is hard to measure. Yeah. But you measure it over a long period. And you can see two years ago, we never even thought about that topic. Now we're in the middle of implementing it. As I mentioned on the podcast, we're on the journey to put in traction or EOS into our business been in a couple of sessions now where we recognize a lot of that has been traction right there's a follow-up session after the afternoon but it helps keeping those conversations going and it kind of puts sympathies behind it yeah. so you, you, you get a feeling about that you're making some changes in the yeah standard. and it's a little bit like when you spend time with wonderful people uh, it rubs off on you doesn't it i'm grateful for spending time with you and robert gibbons the sbsc northwest group when you come to an event like this 504 msps not just msps but the top msps from all over yeah. the world it rubs off on you doesn't it there's, good, there's, there's guys from down south that we know through come see and it's great to pick up with them and see where their story is yeah you learn more by talking to other people yeah. and seeing what's happened to them after yeah that. and this is a great venue to do well, it's, there's so much to learn. So much, to, and, and you've got sessions to go off to. Thanks for your time today. Cheers. And I look forward to hanging out with you over the next couple of days. Yeah, let's have it. Cheers. Cheers.